Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano, and I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome back to the channel, and let's just jump right into the video. But once upon a time, there was a company that produced smartphones for you know uh, under two hundred dollars that had cool features in them. They gave you NFC. They gave you a 1080 panel. They gave you uh, S Pen as well as some pretty frequent updates just to name a few things that they did but they also designed their phones with a pretty good decent build quality to them and um you know they 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 were meant to last and they were extremely durable and that's one of the things that i rem remember when i was using my lg stylos from back in the day but today we're going to be taking a look at the lg stylo 5 my first one was the lg stylo 2 plus which was actually one of my favorite devices of all time right but i'm gonna get into the lg stylo 5 that i've been using here it's been out for about three years now and it was released in 2019 in june so roughly about three years ago lived this device which offered so many different things that i'm gonna get into in just a second but one of the things that stood out with this model was the build quality and i remember that they removed the um, one of the features, some of the features from this one, from the Stylo 4, which kind of um, rose some of my emotions a little bit and got my temperature a little bit hotter than usual because one of the things that I missed from the LG Stylo 4 to this one was that, the, that you couldn't move the apps to the SD card. There, there was something about the camera where you could you know use the zoom features while you were recording they removed that feature as well but this device still had a lot of features that i really loved using it had that obviously the s the the stylus pen not the s pen but the stylus pen which was a really handy handy dandy tool that you could use on a regular basis if you just wanted to just jot down some notes or if you're the type of person like me who's more of a visual person and just needs to see things written down on a regular basis this device definitely fit and filled a margin of individuals and people who were looking for this type of phone and it wasn't a, it wasn't a niche phone in my opinion it wasn't something that just a few people liked i feel like the lg stylo 5 was a device that was loved universally like if you saw the pen features on here and you saw the type of things that you could do with it automatically we were immediately drawn to it because that's how i felt when i saw the lg stylo series for the very first time and obviously when my first device that had a pen on it was called the note um, 4 which was actually pretty good but I ended up trading in my note 4 for the lg stylo 2 plus to save some money and also to um, get better battery life and what I noticed was that the LG Stylo series offered an experience that was extremely similar to the Note series but at the fraction of the cost and there was some reasons why you were saving money right that we wouldn't get you know instead of getting Bluetooth 5.0 you'd get Bluetooth 4.2 instead of getting dual stereo speakers you'd get a single speaker instead of getting wireless charging you'd get you know the re regular standard charging and things like that but everything else on here stood out from the overall experience of like social media browsing between different apps everything like that you could pretty much do on the higher ended models right this one did have some really cool features that we see on samsung devices too like that floating window which was really cool that i really like to play around with on this guy and it, it did get an, a major update it was released on android you know nine and got android 10 which was something that i really did like about the lg stylo 5 because honestly i had used this device for a long time but just because I, i'm i'm an you know the type of person who literally lived with a pen in his hand you know as a, as a graphic artist his, his entire childhood and you know i literally felt that when i had this phone in hand that it was like an extension of my one of my body parts and uh it definitely um appealed to me in a lot of different ways not only because of the overall user experience with the pen and this the stylus and the features that you get with the, the lge 
pen was just extremely useful because you could take notes you could sketch you could draw you could color but you could also you know um you know, use it as a mouse you could use it as a instrument or a tool that would actually simplify your life a little bit more but it's just another thing that drew me in because not only did the stylus come with the phone free but it was also embedded in the phone so you could actually just store the stylus in the phone and it had some pretty decent um you know response time when you were using the pen uh decent enough where you could you know do some artwork or something like that but it didn't have the best performance when it came down to the specs and that was one of the things that stood out because when it comes to like a samsung device right they're going to stand out in most apartments they're going to be the best in gaming best in displays best in batteries best in most of the categories but the lg was just good at like a lot of things at one time but not not being the best at any given thing but that was the best thing about lg that i think i liked the most was that the everything that they offered was really good and really concentrated for a certain person or group of individuals like myself and for the lg stylo series um it stood out in a lot of ways because people could get their hands on a phone that was a budget device that was sort of like the note phones from you know the the um from the the note eight and up and it was it was um i remember getting the uh note four and then shortly after getting that stylus two plus like i said before and if the experience wasn't too far off it, it was actually just a dumbed down version of the note which offered premium features at a budget price point which is something that i really did like but this guy has some pretty decent cameras a 13 megapixel on the rear also a 5 megapixel shooter on the front you could only get 1080 30 frames per second you did get some pretty decent you know photos but one of the things that i did notice is that it did struggle with zooming in with because it doesn't have the electronic image stabilization that it used to have on the original moto the original lg stylus i was about to say moto style g stylus but a lot of the things that moto g stylus is doing right now come from this lineup which is the lg stylo lineup and the videos came out pretty decent you get four times zoom there wasn't any optical image stabilization on the video and on their front facing cameras they did come out pretty so decent as well you can see that you get some pretty decent quality when it comes to the front facing camera with the five megapixel uh in low light situations indoors and even in some outdoor situations so it was a pretty decent phone when it came to the cameras overall but you did need some light for it to shine um for lack of a better word because you know the the cameras weren't the most you know high high grade cameras for like everything that a, a person like me would need if running a youtube channel i definitely need some cameras that were a little bit more pro grade but to start out these were definitely gonna be perfect for somebody who was just starting out like myself but I had some really s simple features to it, a fingerprint sensor on the back, facial recognition, the, the 13 megapixel camera, um, really nice tactile buttons, a really nice design, um, polycarbonate material on the back, metal railing on the sides, that stylus pen like I talked about, which was going to be the main feature, NFC is on board. Uh, you know 3,500 milliamp hour battery as well but if you were the type of person who was just the type of person who is very you um, you know very um, I would say expressive and the type of person who is very organized like myself the stylus feature is something that you actually rely on heavily if you're the type of person who is always going to be um in, in the creative mode like myself right because this device puts you in that mode when you when, when you take out the pen right away you're greeted with a tool that you can use that is an extension of yourself and everyone likes to write right i know when i'm when i'm just sitting at a desk i have a pen in my hand and it's second nature for me to just start sketching something right and i would do that all the time on the lg stylos um five because Whenever I pulled out the, 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 the pen, it wasn't, you know, like it didn't have like any Bluetooth features in it or, 
you know, um, any any real major functionality to it. But just having that tool in the hand served as an extra tool that you could use for productivity. So you could take notes, you could do screenshots, you could do um, screen memos as well. Something that was pretty cool with this device. And so if you're the type of person who like me, who just, you know, I, you know, you're, you're an, the type of person who likes to write down things. Maybe you're an artist, a journalist, or a creative designer like myself, you know, you, 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 you would be the type of person who would gravitate toward this device because of that feature. But like I said, it's not going to be as, 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 uh, as good as like a note pen. It'll be decent. It'll be decent enough, but it's not going to be the, the best at any single thing. Like I mentioned before, but it's just good. It just works and it just fits the bill. And it definitely gives you a good experience overall when you're using it so honestly when it comes to the lg stylo 5 in 2022 it's not going to be upgraded to the latest software or anything like that or have all the major um, bells and whistles or extra camera software or anything like that but if you're just looking for a phone that's going to pack all the features you need like nfc you know um, a really beautiful panel s pen um decent call quality you know um really good feel in the hand and just the you know the, the the panel is pretty beautiful as well on here like i mentioned before but obviously this the phone will be for most people who are just looking to save a lot of money but also want to use the cool features that were designed in this specific model so hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you did make sure you leave a like down below and show your support by hitting the like button and the bell icon and hit the notification bell so you can get notified for more videos and i'll get right back with you later crew peace